This is the type of case that can be really challenging at first, but once you get used to spotting these, it gets a lot easier. This is an aspirate from a middle-aged dog who had about a quarter size red hairless raised mass on its skin. And they aspirated it and this is what we're looking at. We're looking at a bit lower objective here because it gives us a good feel of whether this is a mesenchymal, epithelial, or round cell population. And of course, that's where we wanna start when we're trying to classify cells. And as you can see from this objective, these are round cells. Now we've got five options for round cell tumors, so we wanna look closer and just see if we can get more characteristics of these cells to see what type they are. Now that we're closer, we can get a better feel of what types of features these cells have. There's a lot going on here and there's some variability in how they look, but they're all the same population of neoplastic round cells. Some of them, like the ones up there, have mostly clear vacuoles and the one right here, but the others here have this sprinkling to sometimes a bit more of the purple granulation. And what round cell tumor type has purple granules? Mast cells. So this is a mast cell tumor. And the reason that it's a little bit perplexing is because not all of the cells are highly granulated. This can happen. Sometimes this is a consequence of Diff-Quick staining, which Diff-Quick is a great stain. But sometimes, occasionally, Diff-Quick will not stain cells very well. But sometimes, and I feel like more often, it's because the cells themselves are inherently not well granulated and that can be um, a, a little bit of a concern that it's a higher grade tumor, but it's a mast cell tumor.